Greetings folks, it's Sarah with Obadiah's. Today I am here to do a product overview for you guys on the DS AquaGem Coal Boiler. Now both of these units side by side are both going to be AquaGem units. This one is finished with the insulated jacket while this one is exposed. So this blue jacket is going to be sold separately. Um, the blue jacket helps to keep the heat inside the unit for more BTUs into the actual water transfer rather than radiant heat coming out the front of the stove. Um, so depending on if you're looking for any type of radiant heat off the unit itself, that would determine whether you want this jacket or not. If you were placing this unit in the basement and maybe you have a family room down there or something like that where you wanted to heat the basement, then you would wanna opt to go without the insulated jacket. Um, we do have some people who place indoor boilers in an outdoor application, like maybe in an insulated shed or something like that. If you were placing an indoor unit in an out building, you would definitely want to add this water jacket. Um, so these are going to be labeled and sold as coal boilers. Now prior to 2015, they were sold as a wood coal combo boiler. We did have changes in EPA regulations that took effect in 2016. Um, <clears throat> those regulations state that any boiler that is rated to burn wood must meet these new EPA standards. Now, that EPA testing cost is very, very expensive. So, um, and also, once you get a unit EPA tested for wood, it cannot burn coal. The reason for this is because coal is an EPA exempt category. Okay, so a lot of boiler manufacturers that were producing multi-fuel wood coal units have opted to just take wood off of their label because that alleviates the need for that EPA testing since coal is exempt. Now I do want to clarify, nothing has changed in the design of the unit from when it was previously rated to burn wood and coal. Um, so the AquaGem line is going to be one of our most affordable indoor boilers that we offer. Um, it's very reliable, mechanical style unit. So I'll go over some of the overview features. Um, this is obviously your fire door. This is going to be a manual feed coal unit, okay? So it's not a stoker. Um, when you're burning coal, you gotta shovel it through the front door. You do have multiple air controls here located above and directly on the firebox door. Um, your controllers are located on the top. It does come standard with the Honeywell Aquastat. Um, you do have an automatic chain draft control located on the side of the unit as well. Located below the unit is going to be the ash pan. So as you can see, it's right out directly on the front of the unit. So I hope that you guys find this product overview helpful. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please share our videos with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.